Celtics Nets is the next one here, and it is hard to tell how teams will play after a week-long break, as they may be rusty, but laying the chalk on Boston is the way to go. Brooklyn isn't healthy, as they are without their two best players in Durant and Irving. Meanwhile, this season, the Nets are the worst against the spread team, as they are 22-36-1, and, and at home, where, where Irving can't play, they are 6-21-1. The Celtics have been playing better offensively and are starting to click and should be able to take advantage of this depleted Nets team. Take Boston on the road to cover. Let's go Boston. We're minus 9 right now. Boston minus 9 as the side. For a total, the Celtics last played the Nets. The game went over 213 and it was 217. And in Boston's last five games, they have gone over 213 in three of them. Brooklyn, meanwhile, have gone over 213 points in four of their last five games. Although the Celtics play at a slow pace of 99, which ranks 24th, the Nets rank 10th at 101.4 and should continue to play fast, which in turn will lead to more possessions for the Celtics. Both teams will look to make a statement out of the All-Star break, especially Boston, who are looking to catch the 76ers, so take the over. We're going to go once again to two plays, Celtics minus 9 and Celtics Nets over 214 and a half. What say you? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck to you, each and everybody. Pick and choose wisely. Just go get that cash. Take care. See you in the next one. This is Trending Rabbit.